guarantees. Boy, that's something that oftentimes in the life insurance industry, people shy away from. And the guarantees are a great thing to understand because no other asset has that, right? Just life insurance has a guarantee. Now it may be a low guarantee, but I would put those guarantees up against any asset guarantees, any other asset guarantees any day of the week. Why? Because what can most other assets guarantee? Most of them actually can't even guarantee zero. And I think that's the first thing that pops into our mind. Well, they could guarantee zero. So we put $100,000 in, we're guaranteed to get at least $100,000. Not necessarily. Depending on what that asset is, we could have a total market loss or we could lose that asset completely. And so minus 100% is really the only thing most other assets can guarantee. So we need to understand the power of those guarantees in a life insurance policy. Now, if I am comparing or a client wants to see a comparison between a life insurance policy and another asset, I'm certainly not going to compare the guarantees of the life insurance policy against the hopeful opportunity of another asset. That's just not fair. That's two totally different things. I'll compare guarantees against guarantees or the illustrated values of my life insurance policy where actually the life insurance policy illustrated values are based on real numbers. They're based on what they did this year and they're assuming that that would happen out into the future, but they're actually based on real numbers versus just some hypothetical that we might see on hope that some other asset might actually perform. So really comparing the illustrated values on a whole life insurance policy to the hopes of another policy, the life insurance policy numbers are actually much more real than those other numbers from those other assets in most cases.